community gardens allow people a space to grow, to connect with their neighbors, and also keep food production local. Obviously in the city, not everybody has a yard or a lot that makes it easy for them to garden themselves. So it really provides an opportunity to grow your own food, um, to participate in community in a way that's not really possible anywhere else. A lot of people maintain the same plot year after year. We have a plot that we've had for over 10 years. So we have a lot of raspberries in there. We have some tomatoes and peppers and onions. The garden was started in 1981, initially started by a group of neighbors. We have one plot um, every year that is specifically dedicated to growing produce for the food shelf. We work with a number of community gardens here in our program, including the St. Anthony Park Garden, and it's been a wonderful source of local fresh donations. This year we've donated almost, if not more than, 100 pounds of produce to the food shelf. It's been amazing to see our clients use more and more of that produce and learn about more varieties that they may not have used before. It's helped me eat a little better. Uh, I have couple of my kids at home that are out of jobs and I come in and I get milk, a lot of the canned goods, and then now this warmer weather we get the lot more produce. Make me get a few better meals. It's really easy to give donations. You can simply walk into any of our locations, uh, fill out a donation form so we do have a receipt for you. We weigh the donations and it immediately goes on the shelves for distribution. The uh, amount of increase we're seeing in fresh produce, it's following in the trend of the increase in produce that we've been seeing for about the last five years. It's just a really great way to get neighbors together outside working for a common cause.